do the draw. First off, obviously, thanks for all support this year. It's only the second year we've uh, had this competition and it's been absolutely epic again. I'm sure you'll agree looking around the room. The, the calibre of anglers in this is insane. So today, obviously at Medlands, on both lakes, 50 of you, and you're fishing for a 10 grand first place. So um, obviously you've seen the other payouts. Um, just really, really can't thank you enough for getting involved this year. And hopefully it's going to be a firm fixture in the, the match calendar every year. So we're fishing 11 until 4. Um, so you've got plenty of time to, to set up. The only thing I will say, what we're doing is different, is that you won't, you'll, you'll like it, because you haven't got to weigh yourselves in. So there's no scales and boards. It might say on the on your peg that you draw, but we've got some lads that are going to do the entire way in. So the minute the match stops, these boys are going to hit the ground running and they're going to start weighing in. So <clears throat> just bear in mind, give them a little bit of respect, because um, they're here to help. And I just think that with that much money involved, we just want one team, one set of scales. So um, that, that's about it, really. If you want to, uh, we're just going to do a random, random uh, queue up for the draw and then let's get you on that bank and let's get fishing for this 10 grand. Yeah, 20. What do you reckon, mate? Do you fancy it? Well, I mean, I think Bennett was on here, wasn't he, on one of the two days and had a big weight off it. So, yeah, you yeah. can't can't complain can't at the complain. draw, can it's you? It's very bright with that sun, isn't it? Yeah, that just guess, a right? bit, yeah. And what sort of depths have we got here? Uh, so I haven't actually started plumbing up yet, but it's about 12 foot, I think. So, okay, so quite yeah. deep, yeah. Yeah, just over a top four, I think. So. It's crashed, it'll be nice in that cold wind. And where did you qualify from? Uh, Cooper's Lake because in Derby. Yeah. A two nice tench, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, I was there yeah, for that. It was a match, hard yeah. day, but managed a couple. So. Fantastic, yeah. So, best of luck yeah. then today, mate. Yeah, cheers, Paul. No Thank you very much. Right, so we wandered across to Lambsdown now. We're on Peg 43 with Steve Forrester. You okay, mate? Yes, good, cheers, Paul. And you fancy today? Uh, yeah, it looks all right, doesn't it? It's got definitely in favour with wind, I'll first yeah. like. So, and like, it's an M peg, so there's always a chance then, isn't there? Yeah, fantastic. And. You won the Anglin Trust Winter League here last year, didn't you? The yeah, yeah. silverfish event. Yeah. Uh, where were you that day? Uh, peg 19 on Lansdowne. Yep. And yeah. similar tactics today, do you think? Yeah, just going to do the same thing. Fish pellets, maybe some casters short. Fantastic. Yeah, just keep Great it stuff. simple. Great stuff. It looks lovely. Like I say, with the wind yeah, on your back, yeah, M-peg today. So, fingers crossed, mate, you'll have a few. Yeah, definitely fingers crossed. Good luck. And where did you um, qualify from? Um, I qualified at Aston. Aston, your home yeah. venue. Yeah, my home venue. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. And yeah. best of luck today. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, so we've wandered up to Peg 45, still on Lambsdown. We're here with reigning champion Jamie Hughes. Oh, reigning champion, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Cooper's yes. last year was a bit different this year. It is a bit, a bit more intense and rather a lot of good anglers this yeah. time, isn't it, Brad? Yeah, the standard's crazy, Yes, isn't it? don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think about today? Not a clue. I've, I've no. been here once on a cart match and a couple of features. It's yeah. not a venue, I know one bit. No. I do my peg and I ask Bennett. That's pretty much standard, isn't it? That's what you do. But Especially I'm quite happy. The week, yeah. yeah, I can fish. That, I think that's the big thing today was being able to fish. Yeah. So because the wind's very, very favourable over here and I've still got a bit of depth, I've got sort of like eight, nine foot. Fantastic. Yeah. So I'm happy. As yeah, long as the pellet, I've got a chance. So we just walked around to Andy Bennett and yeah. it's windy there compared to, it's like is it, five is it degrees warmer. Yeah. So um, so fingers crossed, mate. And the tactics today, just... Pellets, pellets and more pellets. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a fish to win, haven't you? It's no good having a day catching roach. Yeah, fantastic. I want to either catch nothing or win a match. And where did you qualify from, Jamie? Just remind me this year. Oh, don't do that. Sherwood Forest. <laughs> Sherwood. Sherwood yeah. Forest. That was, that was the first time I've been there. I enjoyed that one. Yeah. Nice little standard skimmery catching nice. on pallets. Nice. Same That's again, not. hopefully. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Let's see what happens. Great. Right. Best of luck, mate. Thank you, mate. Right, so we've wandered down to Peg 62. The man who needs no introduction. Alan, how are you, mate? Yeah. All right, fine. Fine. Yeah. Till I drill this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what do you think of your peg? Mm, I, I mean, it looks good, it's out on a point, but the problem is today we've got a lot of wind. Apparently, normally it winds off this bank. Right. And I think as far as any is on this sort of sideways wind is, I think it's going to be very, very difficult to compete. Yeah, yeah, it looks a bit choppy, doesn't it? Today? Yeah, it's windy. 
Um, tactics for Paul mostly, do you think? Or? Yeah, it's... I mean, for me, I think we're just fishing to try and win a section. I think it's going to be very difficult for any of, on anybody on this bank to, to yeah. win anything in match. So, basically, you're just looking to catch roach and, and you know, whatever fish you can and try and win a, a section prize. Yeah. I honestly don't think we can compete in no. match itself. So who do you fancy then? Up the other uh, end? I mean, the Sean Ashby, Lee Carey, Matt Godfrey. All usual draw bags, <laughs> Jamie Hughes, all, all with wind off back. You can see in distance there where it's flat calm. Yeah. I mean, uh, you'd think that one of them anglers would have a good chance, but of course there's other lake as well. I think you know the pegs with wind off back on other lake will be really good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't really know this lake. I mean, I've yeah. only fished it a couple of times in the past, so you know, I, I'm sort of looking at roast into glasses type thing so i just hope that you know there's a few fish around here for us to catch yeah fingers crossed mate hopefully you have a few bites and yeah. um where did you qualify from you left it i qualified last not last match <laughs> yeah. to be honest but to be fair i only fished two qualifiers i fished one at aston when it didn't fish too well i think 14 pound one but uh, I qualified on last one, I had 35 pound, a lovely day's fishing like a silver, that's a great day isn't it? Fantastic, hopefully you have similar today. <laughs> that would be nice, yeah. would be nice. <laughs> well best of luck mate. Ah cheers, I mean what you've got to say is, you know, this is a great competition, I mean, you know, a lad who runs it, he's put a lot of effort into it and, you know, it, it can only go from strength to strength, I think, yeah. you know, it, it's, it is going to be a, a fabulous competition in years to come, there's no doubt. Yeah, well, and, the list and you names. can tell with anglers that's yeah, trying to qualify. Exactly, yeah, the list of names and yeah. the money up for grabs is brilliant, isn't it? £10,000 yeah. and, yeah. and then down to six, isn't it? Then four, yeah. I think the prize money is very good. Yeah, so fantastic. Something fantastic. to fish for, yeah. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> right, so we've wandered down to Warren and we're on peg four with Bagger. What do you reckon, mate? You happy with the draw? Um, I don't know the lake, but obviously speaking to some at locals, you generally want to be a little bit further up the mm. lake. It's a little bit calmer there. The match was one up there yesterday. But it's a different day today, it's the sun's out, it's a little bit warmer, you know, it's very shallow at this end at Lake, so hopefully a few better fish might move down this end. Apparently the stamp's not as good, but it sounds like I'm going to get plenty of bites. I feel like I'm on the right lake, so fingers crossed, you know, if you don't win it, you might have half a yeah. chance of a, a frame place. There's loads of money to be won, so fingers I'm going crossed. confident, yeah. Yeah, and you've had a good practice, haven't you, earlier on the week? Yeah, I did well over on Lambsdown, but I don't think that... I was really confident until the wind turned and went easterly, so yeah. I'm sort of not that fussed that I'm not on that lake, because I don't think it'll fish as well. The water temperature's dropped about two degrees over there. This lake is very shallow, so it can warm up very quick, so I do think the winner will come off this lake. Yeah. But I don't know, I'm not a venue expert, yeah. I don't know. It's just <laughs> what I'm going off and what yeah. I've seen yesterday, so out could happen, Brad, to be yeah, honest. fingers crossed. But despite the peg, a few people have tipped you for early favourite. But, Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'd want to be where Andy May is. He's a bit yeah. of a drawback, isn't he? But no, seriously, I don't know. Um, apparently, this area, like anywhere from sort of eight and the point facing is good and it holds a few better stamp fish. So whether that'll be the difference, I don't think it's going to be a massive weight. No. It fished really well last week, but the wind has turned. It's gone really cold. I think it'll knock it on its head slightly, but it'll probably make for more pegs that could win it so i think it'll be a brilliant final either yeah it sounds like there's great anglers in every section of every lake isn't there both lakes so it could yeah. be a really interesting day just quickly remind us where you qualified from so i qualified up at bradshaw's um i had 30 pound up there great day uh, up on lake four um yeah so fantastic looking forward to this yeah, today new, new today. lake <laughs> you know very yeah. very shallow so it'd be slightly different to anything i sort of do you know week in week out so, but you know i'm looking forward to see what happens yeah. Fantastic. I'm sure you'll have a few. Good luck, mate. Cheers, Brad. Okie dokie. We've had a wander down a bit further and we're on peg eight with Andy. Yeah, come on, <laughs> brothers. Away, mate. Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, doing all right, thank you. Fancy your peg? I do, actually. You know what? So, uh, the Silver Cup that's just gone in the week, uh, Lee Wright drew this peg and he's had a right day. He's had £48. Pound. Lovely. I don't think he won a match, though, because Bagger wins everything, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Bagger's won a match. But I've got, got a bit of room uh, to the next peg to reshard. Uh, and I think we'll catch a few, yeah, obviously the weather's turned a bit, it's gone a bit colder, mm. right? but oh, yeah, I think I fancy it on yeah. this like little snaggy knob thing that I've got sticking out in the lake. Nice, very nice. Yeah, it's a bit of a cold Italy today, isn't it? That sun's a bit bright for you, isn't it, out there? But, uh, it is, mate, so I'm leaving my nice. cap on because I'll uh, give everyone a bit of a glare in my head, wouldn't I? You know what I mean? <laughs> Sunglasses are coming out in a bit, yeah. brothers. And uh, where did you qualify from, Andy? I qualified, I qualified right early. I qualified from Birch House. Uh, I've had, I think, about that, £25 of little Bobby Skimmers. Lovely. I'm going to fish it similar today, to be fair. A little Bobby Pellets, a bit nice. of like Super Crush Expander. 
uh, and hopefully we'll get one of Chuck. Great, hopefully the same again then. Absolutely, yeah. brothers, hopefully, <laughs> mate. Well, best of luck, mate. And Thank you very uh, much, pal. I'll see you at the end. <laughs> Brad, we're about an hour and a half in now. You've been on Warren Pool. What's happening over there? Slow start, to be honest. It's it's not fishing brilliantly well by the looks of it. Slow and steady, but there's a few people catching a few. Um, Rich Chapman, um, he started off really well on the pole. We had went a bit of a flyer, um, but now he seems to slow down slightly. It seems to be Andy Bennett who's catching a few now right. on the MPEG, so he seems to be catching a few. But everyone seems to be employing mostly pole tactics. Uh, Bennett started off on the waggler, but quickly switched and um, seen a few feeder fish caught, but um, quite a small stamp it seems as well, so um, so yeah. Yeah, well over on here, I've that Liam Linnett there just in the background, he's on peg 53, he's had some real quality fish. Yeah. So proper, you know, two pounders, pounders, all, all good stamp fish, I would think he'll have 15, 20 pound, I would think, something like that at the moment. Yeah. And then just in the bay, yeah, Matt, he just seems to be catching lots of fish, but a lot smaller stamp fish. But yeah, he's doing really well as well as shipping yeah. in and out a lot, a lot of fish. So. Yeah, it seems quite interesting. It seems like the two lakes seem to be fishing very different in terms of the stamp of fish coming out. Um, like I said, I've not seen a single fish over over a pound come out the other one. Right. I think Rich has had one good fish out. Um, but other than that, lots of small skimmers, like six ounces, a few roach, yeah, uh, a few bits and pieces. Then, yeah, I think so. I think that'd be quite important. But a lot of fish being caught though still, mm. you know, there's a lot of fish being caught even on the far on the deeps on the far bank there, you know, there's a lot of fish being caught there as well. Yeah. So and who knows, it's anybody's yeah, moment. And like, early days, isn't it? Yeah, so still still to play for, still plenty of time left in the match. So Yeah, definitely. So yeah. But yeah, I think a lot of people are fishing pellets as well by the looks yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. So seems to be the in bit at the moment. Yeah, it seems to be the most popular approach. I think, yeah, see, I think that's what's been working on like the earlier on in the festival in the week. I think they caught mostly on pellets. Right, right. Um, and um, from what I've seen, that's what they're catching on Warren as well. A uh, nice, tidy sort of micros and expander sort of approach. And yeah, um, yeah catching some nice, nice fish. But like I say, stamp needs to be a little bit bigger for some of them, I think, to get into the running, especially against Lambsdown where they do seem to be a bit bigger on here. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, definitely this peg 53. Yeah. But okay. Oh, well, we'll see what happens in the next hour or two. Yep. When you run it out of luck, need to get unstuck, so come off. When you rub against the wall and you get off fall, so come off, come off.
better than Phil last hour. It's yep. starting to hot up a bit now, isn't Definitely, it? Definitely, yeah. More fish coming out. David, you can see on the camera in the background, we've got Bagger Bennett behind us, and he's just had a mad 20 minutes, hasn't he? Yeah, he's probably put about eight pound in the net in 20 minutes, yeah, yeah. probably on he's that short line as well. So yeah, it could be all to play for. Now. I think his bank runner was emitting to about 20 pounds, and that was before he had that spell. So. I think it could be right there in contention now with perhaps some of the guys on Lambsdown because that's fishing well as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the lads on there seem to have caught most of the day where on there it was slow to start on. And uh, I think uh, Andy May and Rich Chapman, I think they were sort of leading on that lake initially early doors and they've been co continuing to catch. Uh, but Bagger now just seems to be, you know, pulling out the bag really, doesn't he? So yeah, he does. Yeah. Whether he can catch him, I'm not sure. No, they seem to be a better stamp as well. Earlier on, the fish seem to be quite small on there, whereas they're like a pound a piece now, the ones he's having. So. Yeah, them, them shark fish are definitely bigger, a lot, yeah. a lot bigger, so it's looking good, really. Good finish, really. Yeah, and still an hour to go, so could be some bigger weights than we thought. So we thought about £30 in with a winning weight, but I would wouldn't surprise me if a few of the lads have got that close to that already. On, on yeah, Lambsdown. I think it'll be more than £30 looking at it, but yeah. uh, we'll see when they weigh in, but yeah. it's definitely looking good this last hour. Okay. <laughs> We're driving cars on the Mars tonight We're passing up to the stars tonight We wanna go, go We wanna go, go First off, thank you very, very much for everybody that's um, subscribed to this year's competition. Personally, obviously I'm biased, but I think it's been fantastic, and the, the way you've all got involved. I, honestly, I, it's only two years old as competition, isn't it? I really am proud. It's kind of my flagship competition, so I really, really am grateful to you all for subscribing to it, and it's been a huge success. So really, really, I've got it. Well, thank you. I'm not getting emotional. Don't worry about it. I'm just saying, thank you. <laughs> Right, so obviously, because I think the fishing's so good, last year, the first year we were at Cooper's, this year is, was at Meadowlands, and we've already booked the competition back in for Meadowlands next year, because I think you've seen the weights today, it's been a phenomenal competition, and it'd be silly to move it from here at this stage, so next year's competition is straight back here. Probably going to roll it around on a three-year basis, but definitely for the next year, it's at Meadowlands again. Um, next week, straight on it, I'll be um, booking the qualifiers back in straight for it, because... Obviously, it's a competition I want to carry on doing every year. So, first off, I just want to say, obviously, we've gone to the golf club. These guys have done a brilliant job for us, so I just want to put hands together for the support of the golf club. <laughs> I 
And got to mention, there's some unsung heroes. There's three guys that have weighed you in today, and they're always here helping me out. They don't get, obviously, much praise for what they do, but these guys are very, very much like their hands-on jobs in the, uh, on the fire TV. So, Mark, Ian and Steve, thank you for today, Pop. <laughs> right, so, paying the top five overall. We're also paying sections, so there's six sections, and we're also paying, same as last year, second in sections. It's all defaulted, so we'll start on the second in sections, if that makes sense. So, basically, zone six... Picking up £165 with a weight of 35.7, peg 27 on Warren was Paul Sanderson. There you go, buddy. Zone 5 with a weight of 25.8, peg 11, Warren, picking up 165 quid, Matt Rosevear. Super, super, Zone 4, from 61 lambs down, a weight of 31 dead, picking up 165, Steve Hemingway. Well done, Paul. Well done. <laughs> So we've got a joint one on this one, picking up the 165 quid, so I'll let you sort it out amongst yourselves. Zone three, with a weight of 28.9, it's Lee Former and Grant Merritt. Zone 2, with a weight of 33.13, from foot peg 47 on Lansdowne, picking up 165 quid, Warren Jennings. Well done, Pat. And the last zone, of peg 8, Lambs, with a weight of 35.12, Picking up 165 quid, Mick Wright. Well done, Pat. Okay, then, folks, it brings us on to his main section winners now. We'll be getting 300 quid apiece. Same as the festival. From now on in, there's a card inside with your details on. You need to fill them in and return them to me so I can pay you via. Electro well, pay you electronically, because obviously I'm not bringing that kind of cash with me, so. <laughs> Section A, <clears throat> peg 15 on lambs down with a weight of 37.7, picking up 300 quid, David Coulson. <laughs> Section B, <clears throat> from peg 24 on lambs down with a weight of 28.12, picking up 300 quid, it's Mark Bowyer, Bauer. I think he's had to go home on his show. We'll, we'll get that one too. We'll get that to him anyway, because he's won the football card as well. So. C section with a weight of 30, I think it's 33.8 or 35. Peg 44 on lambs down, picking up 300 quid, Darren Coates. <laughs> Section D, with a weight of 35.8 off peg 53, lambs down, picking up 300 quid, Liam Leonard. Well done, Pat. Cheers, buddy. Section E, off peg 5 on Warren, with a weight of 31.8, picking up 300 quid, Adam Palmer. And last section, section F, picking up 300 quid off Warren 19 with a weight of 36.8, Martin Page.
So we're paying top five overall, so this is your main frame. Fifth overall, with a weight of 38.8, our peg 22 lands down, picking up a thousand pound, Matty Dawes. Fourth overall, with a weight of 41.8, off Warren 10, picking up 1,500 quid, Rich Chapman. Third overall, with a weight of 46 pound, off Lamb's Peg 49, picking up 2,500 pound, is Matt Godfrey. It's worth noticing, noting as well that the top, the top three places, it's, it's insanely close. There was like eight ounces between first, second and third, either side. So it's been a really, really close run competition, which obviously is fantastic. Um, so bring me on to that. Second place overall. He has actually had to go home, um, but due, due to a family emergency before people start saying anything on the uh, live camera. Picking up 46.8 off Peg 4 and Warren with four and a half thousand pounds as Andy Bennett. So that brings us to 2023's champion and picking up 10 grand. He had seven grand off me last year for winning the competition and he's gone and done it again with a weight of 47 pound off peg 45, lambs down, the 2023 Winter Classic champion, Jamie Hughes. <laughs> So folks, here we are, 2023, the Winter Classic final. Jamie, you've done it again, it's like deja vu. <laughs> here we are again, same as last year, but obviously last year was seven grand, this year's ten grand. Tell us about it, mate, it's been insane. It's been a lovely match. I've drawn drawn a nice peg, I've drawn 45, 46, 45. You've One been, of them, been 45, on 45, bank, 45 on a pump bank, which was nice for the win. Because it's been, it hasn't been windy, but Meadowlands is windy when there's no wind, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, so. To be to be honest, when we've been walking around the lakes, looking where you were, it's been it, it has been really it's been calm. The warmest it's been warmest bit, hasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, mate, tell us about you. Quickly tell people how you qualified this year and about. Obviously, I cannot believe you've done it again for the second year. <laughs> it's insane. It's crazy. Now I qualified. We've qualified at Sherwood Forest. So what it's called? It was yeah. You Sherwood, Sherwood Forest. That was the first time there. I really enjoyed that. That was on Homedale Lake. No, it's not Sherwood, Sherwood Lake. Lake. You're on Sherwood. Sherwood, Sherwood Lake. Lake, and I had 27 pound. That was a lovely day just before it went freezing and I caught some chub in the stream behind me, it was right good. But anyway... <laughs> um, no, didn't put them in your butt there. No, you wouldn't let me have them. <laughs> so today, honest, I've drawn that and I want to win. I want to fish to win and that's it. I've not fished anything other than I fished pellets long and then I fed pellets and cast a short. Just I either win the match or nothing. And it's been insane because you, you could tell, obviously, you, you said before the match you were going to go aggressive yeah. because it's not a peg that's noted for doing Obviously, it was good. Sam was second off it yesterday. Yeah. So in the conditions, again, I spoke to Darren Cox and he said, when the wind goes nordly, it makes the pump bank good because it bounces back, sort of thing. Well, there were some big weights on there, weren't there? It's so. been probably the best section, hasn't it? Thinking about it. I think so. Yeah, two forties. Yeah, definitely. So, so obviously, mate, this year, second year of the competition. I think it's growing from strength to strength. Obviously, I'm biased, but the no, names but it, that we've had on this final have been it? insane. That's probably the strongest match I've ever fished in my life. For well, names, well, so we've fished a few, but it is, isn't it? With how many? I mean, there's 46, 48? 50 today. 50, 50 anglers on, and yeah, it's a joke. Like I England internationals, <laughs> Fisher. Yeah, it, I mean, well, there's three world champions in today's match. Insane, mate. And Just ridiculous. Obviously, next year, mate, we're going to keep it at Meadowlands because I think it suits the place. I think that I think that suits what we're trying to do here. Yeah. Obviously, we found a lovely little golf course uh, for the for the presentation. So, last question, mate. What are you going to spend the money on? I don't know. A garden. I'm going to get me garden flag. Crazy, like, posh Indian stone. Wild now, aren't I? Yeah. Well, well, that's what happens when you get old, pal. But no, so. it's been phenomenal, guys. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much, pal. And thank you for watching, guys.